on the process. So again, understand what the bounce rate is and figure out when it makes sense to have a bounce on that page and when it doesn't. And when it, when it doesn't make sense to have a bounce rate so high, you can always do a lot of split testing and take different approaches and see what works and what doesn't. And then we have the, the percentage of people who exit the website on that page. So this is slightly different from the bounce rate. The bounce rate means people just go to that page only and then they leave. Uh, whereas a uh, percentage of exit means that people uh, exit the website after seeing this page, but they probably saw other pages before. Okay, so again, understand what it means and sometimes, for example, if it's a thank you page or a confirmation page, it makes sense that people leave your website after that because they completed their, their goal. But if you, again, if people go to your sales page and then they leave your website without going to the next step, then you have something to work on. Then we have the top landing pages, which is the landing pages are where people start, start navigating your website from. So these are the first pages people see on your website. So it's really always a very good idea to see where people are en entering your website from. And then we have the top exit pages, which is where people leave your website from. And then we have the goals and funnels. And you can set up any goals you want. And I talked a little bit about this before. Any goal could be someone filling out a contact form, adding a product to, uh, to the shopping cart, uh, checking out, um, going to the third step of the shopping process, um, filling out three, three fields in, in, a, in a contact form, uh, staying on a page for 30 seconds. It could be whatever you want. The more you track, the more you know what's going on with your website. And so we have all the different goals. Here we have uh, brochure requested, contact form filled out for Spanish, Portuguese, Chinese, Russian, and this, this website actually has a lot more, more goals. And here we have the percentage of the, for, for the conversion rate and the total value for, for all the goals achieved within a month. And here's like $11,000. And again, you can assign any kind of value you want for each of your goals. And something I really like about Google Analytics is that you have a tab called Intelligence which shows you things that don't normally happen, but are happening now. So for example, if every day you have 10 visits and one day you have five, this will show you, hey, I mean, alert, today you got like five visits instead of 10. Or if your conversion rate is usually like 12% uh, and one day it's 2%, you know, they'll let you know. So I love this tool because it saves me a lot of time. I mean, I don't have to go through all the reports and figure out uh, what's looking a little weird today. I mean, this tells me what's, if it's, there's something abnormal going on, the intelligence tool tells you what's going on. Okay, now let's talk about one of my favorite features on Google Analytics, which is the advanced segments. With the advanced segments, you can have custom segments of your traffic so you can understand what's really going on because this is what happens when you look at the the raw data like all the people that visit your website it's really hard to understand what's going on but once you start segmenting your your traffic it's a lot easier to see okay oh this is what's happening this is i mean i'm only looking at people who like find me on google in the United States and this is what these people are doing but when people find me on Facebook and they're in the UK oh I mean a completely different thing is happening so the more we segment our traffic the more we understand what's happening so for example what I did here is I I used an or connector here in and let me show you what this is so I'm looking at people who, f who can find me who can find me on Google or Facebook and are located in the United States okay and once I take a look at this traffic I'll, I'll know what's going on about this specific segment and again the more we segment the more we understand the traffic so let's talk about some of the best ways you can use these advanced segments I'll, I'll share with you the way I use them for example let's say you're um, let's say you're a plumber in Portland Oregon and one of the things you want to do is do 
a, an advanced segment for all the branded terms and compared to that to the non-branded terms. So all the branded terms are all those that have your, your company name or your own name and something that implies that people already know who you are and they're using Google to search for your company name. So if someone's searching for XYZ plumbing, that's what you're gonna use that segment for. But if someone is searching for, let's say, Portland, Oregon plumber or plumber in Portland, Oregon, then that's a completely different segment. And then you can compare how these two different segments, uh, you know, do against each other. I mean, maybe they, maybe when, when people know who you already are and they go to your website, the conversion rate is much higher. Whereas when people don't know who you are and they find you searching for plumber in Portland, the conversion rate is not that great. So that's one of the things you want to test with the advanced segments, branded terms versus non-branded terms. The, the other thing I use it for is only visits with conversions. And I choose my, my most important conversions. And by filtering out the rest of the traffic and just keeping only the, the visits that have conversions, that's where I can see where they're coming from and where people are, like if they're coming from Google, what, if they're coming from Google, what kind of keywords people are using to, to search for me. And you know, that, that tells me what's working. I'm, I'm looking at just the visitors that completed a goal on my website and it's telling me that maybe like five came from twitter ten, I, I don't know 500 from linkedin and 10,000 from uh, google you know if i check the, my, my stats for the last five years so that's that tells me where i have to focus my efforts and even within google and the search engines it will tell me what are the keywords that are bringing me leads for my business okay so that's another thing I use it for. And then you can always use it for, like if you, if you wanna see traffic only from the United States or traffic only from Twitter, or if you wanna get like super, super specific, could be people who find you on Twitter that are in the United States and are located in the state of California, for example. That's it. Uh, you can get more internet marketing videos at www.theoutsourcingcompany.com forward slash blog. Have a great day. Bye.